Hello boys and girls, today's flip video is going to be all about Halloween and we're going to review word problems with long division. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first problem says the boy had 638 pieces of candy in his bag after visiting nine towns. He got an equal amount in each town. How many pieces did he get at each town? So, if we are solving this problem, first thing we need is obviously the steps to long division, which we know are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Again, that's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. So, let's see, we've got nine towns, we've got 638, we know it's going to be an equal amount at each one, um, at each town. It's going to be a clue that we're long dividing because we have a big amount, 638, which is probably about that much, and it's divided out over nine tenths. So we've got 638 being our dividend on the inside and nine being our divisor on the outside. Now I ask myself, I'm dividing. How many times can I get nine into six? And I can't because nine is less than six. So a couple of options here. You could put a zero here, then go through the whole process. Zero times nine is nine, or mine is zero. Subtract, and then bring down, and repeat. So that's one option. Another option is to just put your zero there and not do the whole, all those extra steps. Either way, you should still put a zero there just so you can make sure that you are remembering that you're not over the six anymore, you're over the... 3. So now we move over. So how many times can I put 9 into 63? Now if you can't remember again, you can start listing any facts. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 54, and 63. We actually can't get any closer to 63 than with 63. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now 7 goes at the top. So let's divide. Now we multiply. We multiply 9 times 7, which will give us 63. Put that down. Now we subtract. 63 minus 63 is 0. Bring down my 8. Um, so that takes us to repeat. So now we repeat the whole process over. How many times can I get 9 out of 8? Well, I can't because 8 is less than 9. So I put a zero up there, and I'm not done. I still need to go through my whole process. So nine times zero is not is zero. Subtract eight. Now I don't have anything left to bring down because my eight was my last digit right there, and now that's our remainder. However, we are not done because we need to multiply this. So I do my quotient times my divisor, and then I'm going to add in my remainder. So we've got 70 times 9, which will give me 630. I know that really quickly because 7 times 9 is 63, and then I just add another 0 because it's times 7. Plus 8 will give me 638. I see that number matches with my dividend inside here, and now I know I'm good to go. My, however, I just need to remember that my remainder or any number after I'm done subtracting, like here and then here, can never be bigger than my dividend. So let's move on to our next example. Our next example says these four trick-or-treaters ended up with 826 pieces of candy. How many did they each have? Now this is assuming that they all have equal amounts. So solve that and then we'll solve it together. All right, let's solve it together. So we've got 826 pieces. That's divided out over four kids. Now, we again, we need our steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. So how many times can four go into eight? Well, I know four times two is eight. So I would put a two up there. Now I do four times two is eight, like I just said. Next step is to subtract, and I've got zero. Now I bring down a two. 
now I repeat it all again. So now how many times can 4 go into 2? Well, 4 can't go into 2 at all because it's less. So I to represent nothing is a 0. So 4 times 0 is 0. That was my multiply. Now I subtract 2 and now bring down and I've got 6. So now I've got 26. I don't just have a 6, I have a 26 because it's down there. So now how many times can I get 4 out of 26? Again, I could list it or I can start saying 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 12, times 4 is 16, times 5 is 20. Let's, start, let's try 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract 6. Now, I see I can't do that because 6 is bigger than 4, so I made a mistake there. So I just proved it can't be 5, so now 6. 4 times 6, let's put a 6 up there. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract 2. Nothing left to bring down, so now that R is now means remainder. So again, to check this, which I hope you checked it, it's the quotient times the dividend add the remainder. So I've got 206 times 4, 4, carry the 2, 2, 8. Add in my 2, and that will give me 826. This matches with this, so I know I'm correct. So that means that each kid has 206 pieces with 2 left over, which I guess I can eat. I'll help them out. Now we move into our solve and bring back to school problem. It says Mr. B stole 486 pieces of candy from the kindergartners. If he eats an equal amount for six days, how much can he eat each day? So I'm curious how much can how many pieces of candy can I eat each day in six days without running out. So solve this, bring it back to school, and I'll see you tomorrow.